next one and a half hours what we are going to see is the data warehousing but with a little bit of sense of humor and added glamour i'm going to add glamour to my data warehouse and i'm going to explain you and relate it with a very a very regular terms but you will still have the technical terms so that you can relate what each other is and then uh, we start working on it the first thing is a fragile data warehouse is never agile data warehouse is nothing other than a database it is also purely like a database which are i explained so far but it is more like a multi dimensional database which has to support your decision support the decision making uh, capacity so a data warehouse will be like a cube it is a multi dimensional presentation of the data so a data warehouse must be very responsive because why are we building this data warehouse the purpose is as i told you my hero has grown and grown and grown now he has a popular star he has uh, four buildings he, ha he has 20 people in his uh, palace who is working for him he has 10 industries and he is the sole ceo who is going to uh, take care of everything this year i have invested 100000 uh, dollars what is my return on my investment how can i make it better that's all it is the simple concept of data warehousing is improving your return on investments and you should be competitive in market to improve return on your investment right let us take an example of airtel or a bsnl uh, a service provider they go into the data warehousing concept to try to make customer more happy to change the tariffs to to uh, to make a, a, a friendly customer service so that they improve their business and they keep growing as a company for that what they'll have to do they'll have to look at their background data will answer all their questions saying what is the popular most uh, uh, popular most package is it the data package it is it the messaging package so can i make it better by throwing some more incentive on it by saying like virgin mobile came into market saying i will pay you for each incoming call is the same way you will have to be keep into uh, uh, giving incentives to the customer to use your product so that you get more customer base once you get more customer base you are going to be really productive and you are going to earn more but then without knowing the data properly you cannot really make a decision why i say that is now airtel has in virgin mobile has introduced this saying if i have an incoming call i will pay you 10 cents uh, or 10 10 paisa per minute airtel will have to go and look into the data is this possible for me or if they immediately announce the same thing they are going to be at a total loss why would someone pay you without uh, looking at it in a proper way of business so we'll uh, we'll answer that question after this end of the session how does they make a decision uh, on their business saying tomorrow i'm going to come up with certain product how is the product doing in the market how much i invested for advertising sales marketing everything will be given first question is a, a fragile data warehouse is never agile why, why i mean to say is a data warehouse is going to be more than a database you have 100 numbers of users you have tons of data volumes 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 keep on growing so it should be fragile it should be agile very responsive very communicative very intuitive but if it is fragile if 100 users log into it if it breaks it is gone it should not be as brittle as a glass it should be like a glass but kind of a bulletproof glass it should never break so why i call a fragile database is never agile let us look into this uh, this uh, proprietary diagram which is been built by me so we are looking at few market popular databases like oracle mysql and sql server i have my production on oracle i have my sales on mysql and the sql server database i have my customer information now i am trying to move all these three informations into my data warehouse i am trying to extract data as i tell, told you earlier and i am trying to load this data into the target which is my data warehouse i have some more i have xml data the web orders i'm getting it as an xml file oh i have some flat files i have data in a flat file which is the day one my hero when he was in slum he, he carried some equipment so he wanted to still keep that in his data warehouse and show his kids i started my my business in a slum now i am an industrialist that i own the company gillette so from the day one he started business he kept his data safe that is what is important 
So let us see. I have an SAP. Wow. The most popular application, SAP. It is the most popular application among the ERP packages. ERP packages, when a company is into production, it needs to maintain ERP, CRM, and many other applications. So SAP is one in, all in one. It can do anything. It can do business warehousing. It can. It is an ERP by itself. The material master, sales order, gen, general data, everything. He is moving from uh, original flat file. His name, state, country, the place he lived, everything. From the XML, it is a third party data. He has used some other company called Amazon, eBay. And eBay is a third party company. So web based data or an XML. So I am getting the data from third party. I am loading, everything is loaded into my data warehouse. The data warehouse is now kind of a, a exploding place. You see there? The data is inserting, 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 inserting. It is growing and growing and growing and growing. You see there, the data is growing. It is still keeps growing because my hero can live for next 100 years. He is building too many industries. He is getting a lot of customers. He is very popular now. The data, see how it has become. It has exploded like a cancer cell. It is kind of a virus. It is expanding. Even though it is expanding, I do have more things. I have a CRM system. I am using cloud computing, which is most popular, Salesforce. I wanted to even get those new campaigns, contacts, opportunities, accounts, leads. Why would I miss my business? Maintaining a data warehouse is a technical thing that is related to my IT department. But the business keeps growing. So I am using my CRM, cloud computing, Salesforce. I am organizing campaigns. I am creating opportunities. I am getting more leads. I have created for accounts. That data is also keep on coming. And the data warehouse is going to break. So my question to you is, is this a data warehouse? Can this data warehouse answer you anything? So I call a fragile data warehouse is never agile. It is a non-responsive. It is useless. Users will get, get uh, very angry when they don't get a response properly. A CEO wants a report. Who can make a report out of this database? How can you join 30-40 tables to get one small report? Not possible. I feel this not as a warehouse. What is your feeling? Is this a data warehouse? 